hello, it's Tanya. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. What I'm doing today is another craft fair project idea. <laughs> I'm totally obsessed and I'm glad you are, are enjoying it as well. I want to make some candy treat boxes. These are so easy. You can, you only need a six by six paper. So it's a great scrap buster, great mass makes. Like I said, great craft fair projects, stocking stuffer ideas, or just a co-worker secret Santa gift, anything like that. Or you could give it to like your mailman or anything like that. So you need a six by six paper or you can get four out of a 12 by 12. So it's totally up to you. So you'll need the paper of your choice. Um, I'm going to be using my Barely Art Glue, a ruler, a paper cutter, a scoreboard, bone folder, and then uh, you're going to need a one inch punch. And if you wanna do different kinds of decorations on the outside of your candy treat box, then you'll, I have a two inch scallop punch here. I'll link everything in the description box below. And then for this one, I think I'm gonna use this Recollections foil cardstock paper that's 65 pounds, and this is the four by five by seven. And I think I'm gonna go in with this. So we'll see, I don't know. Let me show you my prototypes that I made. I think they are so cute. Okay, here is the first one that I made. He's so sweet. Anybody would love to get this little treat box, okay? Now, I didn't get this in the center on this one, and it holds, can you tell I love Hershey's with almonds? I do. It holds three of these. You might be able to get four in, okay? And, but it's just a cute little treat box, all right? And I just decorated it with this little reindeer on top and this, and I just put some foil scrapbook paper across the top to add interest. Here's the other one I made, <laughs> it's so cute. Now here it has the little thumb hole, you open it up and here's your your little candies, okay? But it is they're really quick and easy to make, all right? So let's start making it. All right, like I said, you either need a six by six or you need a 12 by 12 and you can get four out of the 12 by 12. Okay, so I had a 12 by 12 and I cut four of these and they're six by six, okay? So the first thing you want to do is get your scoreboard out. This is so simple, don't blink, okay? And you're gonna score at one. You're gonna score at two and a half, three and a half, and I'll link everything, I think I said that in the description box below. And five, okay? Then we're just gonna turn our paper and we're gonna score at one inch and five inches. This is a lot like, um, it's similar to the video that I did yesterday, okay? Now we're gonna burnish this. So I'm just gonna start here and burnish this. I'm gonna burnish this one a little bit better. Okay, then we're gonna start folding up through here on our other score lines that we made. I think, now I, I'm trying to figure, I think maybe you could get 250 out of this. Um, I don't know. All right, now. Here you have this, okay? You have these long ones going this way. I wanna to come to these short sides where we have a square and a rectangle and square and rectangle, okay? Then I'm gonna get my scissors and I'm just gonna cut right up in the middle of that score line all the way to the other score line, but I'm not going in it. All down through here. This could not be any easier. 
kind of got off that score line, but I think it'll still be all right. Then we're going to flip it over here, do the same thing. You could do one side at a time because we're going to go back to the other side in a minute. Or you can just go over like this. Gives you the same results. It does not matter. Okay. Then we're going to come back to this. And the square ones, you want to cut a little notch like a V out of it and then just pull it down and then we're going to do the same thing to this outside oh, got to go a little bit more okay you don't bother this one just the square ones we're going to go to this one cut that pull that that one see I'm not taking a lot out I've been painting the inside of my house because I didn't like how it was showing up on camera and if you follow me on the Magnolia housewife then you know that <laughs> and I broke my toe uh, I was tired and I got finished and I just broke my toe so simple okay we're going to go back over here and do the same thing so that's why i've taken all my jewelry off except my rings because i don't want to get paint all over them but man my toe i've got it taped together and i set it by just pulling it straight and it went back in place, and I've got band-aids holding it together. And it it works really well. I mean, it's getting much better, but boy, I'm still having trouble. I didn't get to paint yesterday or today, but I'm going to go back to painting tomorrow. All right. So you see what we have here, all right? This is so easy. All right, now if you have directional paper, you know, with designs, just make sure that you wrap it so that it will be right. At my, the way I did this one, it didn't really matter how um, I'm going to do it. So what you want to do is get your one inch hole punch. Now, the last one I did measure, this is six inches, so three inches is in the center. So I'm gonna kind of look, but then estimate. Cause I really, and I'm gonna kind of hold it. You don't have to, but I really would like for it not to be, usually I can eyeball really well Okay, I'll take this. It's good enough for me, okay? Then punch that out. Now you have a little hole tab. Now you're gonna start with your bottom first, okay? And I'm just gonna get my Barely Art glue out. All right, and this is just going to start folding in. But I think that's gotta go on the outside. I think that's what I did. Yeah, let me look. Okay, this has to go on the outside. So I'm gonna put this glue right on here, up to the score line on both sides so I can get a good seal. Okay, then I'm gonna flip that, pull that and glue it. Flip that, pull that and glue it. And since this is barely art, I gotta hold it just a little bit. Now, then I'm gonna take this one and flip it on the outside as well. So I'm gonna glue the outside of this one up to that score line. Same thing with this. Flip that in. 
flip that one in. And you see our box is taking shape. I think I got that one a little bit past. Okay, now we're going to work on the top. It's really simple, all right? We're just going to glue this. Let's see, I think it goes like that. Yeah, we're going to glue this right here. on the outside we're going to flip it in here make a real nice corner same thing for this real nice corner but this is barely art glue so you got to kind of hold it till it sets my art glitter glue um is a little messed up that's why I didn't use it plus this gives you a little bit of wiggle room okay so now all we need to do is figure out what we're going to do on the outside and I thought this paper has a little bit of gold in there and I thought and see when we shut that that's what it's going to look like it's going to be really cute okay so I think I'm going to use the gold to tear a piece out Decorating it is totally optional, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to come in here, try not to waste a lot of paper. And Maggie's in here, and she'd rather not be. <laughs> okay, I think that would be really cute. You could also put little, um, this matching paper down the side, but I don't want to on this one <clears throat> i want them to be a little different okay and i could put merry and bright on that i just stuck this on there it doesn't go to that um i could put candy canes but i don't think i think i want to put merry and bright i wish i had another size then i could like layer it i would i think i'd like it a lot better if i had another color underneath there but i think i need to add something Ugh, what do i need to add am i going to add another like that or what maybe i'll just put something on the box something that kind of lets you know it's something sweet Put that there see how much better that looks already and why not put the other mug right here oops let's move this kind of got that crooked okay and then we'll put Mary and bright I think that's cute um, if I wanted, I could just put, you know what? I don't think I'm going to do this circle. I wasn't feeling it. I'm just, I think I'd like it much better. Just like that. Okay. But you know what? I think I want to do something else. I'm going to get my white card stock. And I'm going to use my two inch punch. I think that's going to be better. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, then I'm going to get these little foam mounting tapes. I'm just going to pop that right under it. I'm not even going to cut it. I'm just going to put it right under there. And stick that there. Let's take a look at them. Okay, here they are. I just realized I did not fill this one. So, here is a Hershey's. Another one. Another one. Let's see if we can get four in. I think it's only going to hold. And by the way... 
this is what I'm using, okay? And you could put the little nuggets if you wanted in there. No, four won't work, three works. All right, let's look at my prototype first. Here he was, I think he's really cute. Like I said, I got that off, that was just a prototype. Adorable, okay? Then here is the other one that I made. You can see they're totally different. Now I kind of tore that one, so be careful because I glued it to the wrong point. I had to open it, but you won't do that, okay? Now here is this one. Look how cute these are. They're so adorable. And like I said, they're very easy little candy treat boxes to make great craft fair project ideas stocking stuffers, just little gifts. And they're so customizable to whatever you want, however you want to decorate them. So if you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make candy treat boxes, then like the video, share the video, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, stay crafty.